what's up? How's it going? My name is Emma Jane. Thank you so much for being here. I know that I haven't filmed slash posted a YouTube video in a hot minute and I've just been feeling, and that's why I'm making this particular video, because I've just been feeling a little bit all over the place, a little bit unorganized, a little bit chaotic, and I don't jive with that energy. <laughs> um, so I thought I would make a video of the habits that I tried to implement and successfully implemented into my life this week that really did help me feel in control, help me feel peace, help me feel um, just a lot more put together. Also, just want to acknowledge the fact that I now have bangs and a middle part, and I look like someone's dad at some point in time. <laughs> um, I got my hair cut, and this is my first video filming with it, and I really like it, and that's what I have to say about that. So, I'm gonna jump right into it. So, last week, the um, I had spring break, and I, and I did have a nice spring break. I worked a lot and uh, I felt, found myself sleeping in till 9.30, 10 o'clock every day because my body just really needed that rest and was absolutely exhausted. But it did leave me at the end of spring break feeling stressed, needless to say. And I was not caught up in homework and I had a lot of things to do and it was not like a nice ending to spring break because I was just overwhelmed with stress. So this is me trying to get on top of that and um, also share some of the things I learned this week which is the week after spring break that I just sort of did and implemented and these are habits that I normally have in my life when I don't feel super chaotic but lately I've been doing a little, just there's a lot going on with school, I'm working, I'm trying to do this little thing called YouTube and I thought I would just share like some of the habits that really have been grounding me in my someone would say my truth and I think that that's really accurate although it's kind of like a, like the hot word these days and it feels sort of cheesy to say that but it's true like it just grounds me in like my my reasoning my why and like helping to feel more like myself Okay, let's jump into some of these. Um, so the first one I wanna talk about that I did this week was taking a walk in the morning. This was a game changer. I did it a few times this week and it really set a beautiful mood and energy for my day. I just would wake up, throw on a hoodie, some sweats, really don't care how I look. I would put on my socks, my socks and my Birkenstocks and it was also warmer this week so it wasn't horrible to walk out of the house first thing in the morning. I would make my coffee. I would like clean up my space a little bit once my coffee was ready. I would literally just take it in my mug and go for a really slow walk around the block. And it took maybe 10 minutes but it honestly felt so good and also the birds were chirping they were so loud and it was just beautiful and like watching the way the colors change around the sky as the sun is slowly rising just puts me in the best mood and then i'm walking around and i'm just saying good morning to everyone that i see and i'm just like taking deep breaths as i just did and taking time to notice these little things. And it just was really a peaceful start to my morning and I absolutely loved it. And it's something that I wanna do a lot more, especially now that it's warmer out and I am not as inclined to just stay in bed as long as possible. Habit number two, we are going to talk about moving your body. And for you, maybe this is a walk in the morning. Maybe that's your movement. That's great. Find whatever it is for you. For me, moving my body, <laughs> can mean a lot of different things. Um, to this week, I went for a run for the first time since basically all winter. I also got some really good workouts in at the gym, which felt good. I took a yoga class today, which felt amazing. That hour or that 30 minutes or that however long that I dedicate to myself and putting my headphones in, playing some music that I really like and focusing on my body and growth and strength. It changes how I feel entirely. And when I don't work out, I feel chaotic in my head. It's not so much that I have like all of this excess energy, which like sometimes I do. It's more that like when I don't work out, 
the energy in my head is wild. I get so much stress and anxiety out when I'm working out and it feels so good. And I'm also really excited because now that it is warmer, I can start running again because I really do love running. I'm not fantastic at it. I'm not a runner. I've ran a couple of little 5Ks and whatnot in my time. <laughs> I'm just excited for it to be warm out so I can do some trail runs. I can just be outside in nature. It's honest, I don't know if there's anything better than it. I use an app called the Shreddy app to like that has workouts in it and it has five days a week. And I kind of will feel how I'm feeling. I like to stick to it. Um, this week I kind of just picked a few because I didn't work out all five days, but I listened to my body and picked the workout that was feeling the best for me. And I don't honestly log it all in the app. I really just keep it so I know what exercises to do. And then I kind of make up my own sets and reps in my head. And that's great, works great for me. I really like it. So just find whatever that works for you. I will always be incredibly in support of finding whatever makes you happy in terms of moving your body and doing it because it's fantastic. Habit number three is fairly general, but that is remembering to breathe. A lot of people meditate in the morning. A lot of people make time out of their day to meditate. And I've done that in the past and I do enjoy it and I intend to do it in the future. Right now, for me, remembering to breathe is going on walks in the morning, like I mentioned. Remembering to breathe is also finding time throughout my day to just simply stop and take a deep breath. That deep breath isn't going to hold you back. It's not going to interrupt. It's necessary for us as functioning human beings. I also, listen to that's my little hatch right there um it's a really fantastic alarm clock sunrise alarm clock and it has um sleep meditations and so like my nighttime routine that you set up on the hatch app i have a sleep meditation that is 10 minutes long and it's a gratitude meditation and honestly i just play it as i fall asleep and i listen to it and it reminds me to breathe and it reminds me to in this case have gratitude highly recommend that find whatever works for you but just remembering to breathe is so important like everyone says we are just house plants that require oxygen and water and love so Take a deep breath right now. <sighs> Feels so good. <laughs> Tip number four is keeping my space clean. I kind of did a little spring break, spring cleaning, and it was really nice to clean things out, organize. I have just been getting in the habit more and more of cleaning up as I go out through, go about through my day. I make my bed every morning. I pick up, I just sort of like try to keep my space as clear as I can because it just reflects in my mind how I'm feeling about what's going on in my life. I'm not someone who likes having a dirty room, it really bothers me. Just having gratitude for my space has been really, really nice lately, just like lighting a candle, cleaning up, being in my space feels really safe and comfortable and I've been really enjoying that lately as well. Ooh, um, habit number five, watering my plants. I've been just really enjoying also taking care of my plants and that's kind of a strange habit but i have a lot of plants as you can well you can't you can only see this guy i have one over there and i have all these bad boys but i have just been really enjoying taking the time out of my day to pay attention to them and enjoy them and um soak up all of their beauty and i have some really cool like i'm propagating this monstera which is really exciting um, I have this basil plant that actually fell over and I didn't think he was gonna make it, but I have to water him. Um, but he's actually doing really, really well. And then I have this little pilia plant that's kind of hanging out in there. And I'm in love. I love my plants and watering them feels very mindful for me to just like ground myself in nature and with the space around me. Like I've mentioned, that one's a little repetitive, but I don't know, water your plants. My sixth habit is journaling. I love journaling and I talk about it a lot. It's definitely something that has grown with me over the years and I've done it a lot and then I won't do it for a little while. But I think over the past year I've journaled more consistently than I ever have in my entire life and I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite things. Hold on. So this is my journal. It's a moleskin notebook that my friend got for me. It's actually kind of big. Um, I was journaling in this drawing sketchbook 
and I actually realized that I don't like it. So now I'm kind of just using it as like a notebook. But this is my journal journal right now. I really like moleskin notebooks. I don't think that they're the most sustainably made, frankly. They come in plastic, they're made out of leather, and I don't know if the paper is recycled, but I should do some research in that. Um, I don't think they're the worst notebook company. I know that there might be just ones out there. I just particularly love the way that they are formatted and like made, if that makes sense. I write with this beautiful fountain pen that I recently got and I absolutely love her. She makes me so happy. She's taken some getting used to, but I really love knowing that like if I get the hang of it and refill her, then I don't have to buy any more disposable pens, which is really, really cool. Journaling, when I journal, it's usually in the nighttime, but if I forget, I'll try to make time during the day. And I kind of just write whatever's on my mind. If something happened that day, I'll write about it. And I try to be as brutally honest, but without judging my feelings. That's something that I talk about with my life coach a lot, is not judging how I feel. It's simply just like putting it out there, observing it, taking it in. Journaling has just changed my life. It's something that I, plan to never stop doing because it just feels so good and I feel like I'm taking I'm like exhaling all of the things that are pressing on me and on my shoulders when I journal and I'm putting them on paper and I can let go of them if I need to a game changer that's all I have to say everything's a game changer in this video that's the moral of the story so my final habit that I definitely recommend and something that I love to do but I got off track with last week and then I felt really stressed out with because I didn't do it and then I was reminded how much I love doing it and that is staying organized and I know that people like some people are organized and some people aren't but like I'm going to advocate for an organized somewhat sort of sometimes organized life. I use a Dingbats notebook um, this is vegan leather and it has a little elephant and they donate to cool organizations, but Dingbat's um, bullet journal, I do bullet journal, I'm one of those people and I love it. It's kind of just like one big to-do list every day and I love seeing it, I love writing it out, it helps me get it off my mind and onto paper and that already feels so much more attainable and like able to complete than keeping it all up in my head. So I absolutely highly recommend finding whatever works for you. Maybe it's putting it in your phone. Maybe it's, I don't know. I like working with paper and pen as much as possible, um, which is obviously isn't the most sustainable option. Putting it in your phone is probably way less wasteful, but for me, that's what I enjoy doing. It brings me joy. And so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, cool, yeah. So basically what I do is I plan out my week like this. So I have March week three up here and then I just have the days of the week. And then I have um, Saturday and Sunday, I give a little bit less space. And at the bottom I have a brain dump. So in my brain dump, I kind of will write out like my homework for the week. So I write out the chapters I have to read, the articles, um, the other book I have to read and the paper I have to write so I will write that all out and then like once I know my work schedule I'll put that in on the those days. So they're kind of just in there. So yeah, I also use um, bullet journaling for Just writing out tasks. I write out like how much like I had all my spring break tasks over here and then over here I'm kind of hiding the page, but it's like I wrote a bunch of YouTube ideas and then I wrote like filmed edited published and that just helps me get it out of my head and onto something so I can look at it and sort of attack it and sometimes I don't come back to those pages but taking the time to sort of meditate on those ideas while I'm writing about them in my bullet journal is also really helpful and if I don't always come back to that page that's okay I enjoyed the process of putting it on there so here we are Okay, folks, that's what I have for you. I hope you've had a wonderful time watching this video. If you did, I would super greatly appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up, or if you wanna share with me some habits that you also do that was in this video, or some habits that you would like to do or do today, let me know in the comments. I would really love to hear it, frankly. I wanna know about the people who I have on this little tiny community in the YouTube world. And, um, yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. I sometimes talk about sustainability and trying to be an imperfectly sustainable human <laughs> and trying my best in the world and all of those things. So I honestly feel like my haircut has like made me more chill. Like I feel very calm right now and I think it has to do with the hair. Anyway, I will see you in the next video. I hope you have a great rest of your day, morning, night, whatever it is and you're great okay bye